Driving in France, top tips. Driving in France made simple, with tips, advice and a full car checklist. France is a popular destination for UK drivers. With beautiful scenery, cheap and delicious food and plentiful wine, it makes for a great holiday, and the ease with which you can take your car there makes it a top spot for driving holidays and road trips. With transport as simple as jumping on a ferry or taking the Eurostar for a short train ride, it's simplicity itself to get to France. However the French government are keen to make sure UK drivers don't take Gallic hospitality for granted, and so there are several hoops to jump through if you want to remain on the right side of the gendarmes. A lack of preparation will cost some unlucky motorists dear, as the French law mandates UK tourists carry all manner of items such as hazard warning triangles, high visibility vests, disposable breathalyzers, GB stickers, and plenty more besides. All the items listed above are part of the legal driving in France requirement, but you also need to make sure you're fully up to speed with the French rules of the road, the French road signs, and have budgeted for those French motorway tolls. The obvious first rule of the road is that the French drive on the right, but there are signs from the ferry exit ramps to help you with that. There's a lot more you need to know before driving in France though, including the different legal requirements around the things you need to carry in your car, the alcohol limit for driving, headlight beam deflectors for right-hand drive cars, the recent ban on hands-free devices, and the different speed limits. When driving in France, as in any country, UK motorists need to make sure they have the right car insurance and breakdown cover too. There's quite a lot to think about when it comes to driving in France, or any other European country for that matter, and because this kind of preparation often comes in addition to our standard holiday arrangements, it's that much easier to overlook. That's why we've compiled this handy guide to driving in France packed with useful tips and advice for UK motorists venturing into Europe. Read on for our detailed guide to the documents, equipment and road etiquette you need to take with you across the channel. Which documents do I need to drive in France? A full and valid UK driver's license will allow you to drive in all European Union countries, including France. In terms of documents, UK drivers will also need proof of insurance and ownership, V5C, as well as a passport or national identification card to satisfy the French authorities. What do I need to carry in my car when driving in France? The French law requires each car to carry warning triangles and a French government certified, NF, breathalyzer or alcohol detection test kit. Reflective jackets must also be within reach for all passengers. Drivers in right-hand drive cars will also need to fit headlamp beam deflectors to avoid dazzling other road users. If your car does not have a number plate that includes the GB Euro symbol you must also invest in a GB sign to attach to your car. In a further effort to increase road safety, France has also banned the use of all mobile phones, hands-free and Bluetooth devices. This is something all UK drivers must remember as a 135 euros fine awaits those who are chatting away. Those looking to get to their destination a little faster will have to do so without speed camera detectors, which are also illegal in France. If your navigation system comes with them, you are by law required to disable the alerts. Failure to do so can result in a 1500 euros fine. What is the alcohol limit for driving in France? Should you need to test the breathalyzer, the allowed blood alcohol level in France is 0.05% and 0.02 for drivers with less than 3 years experience. In theory you should invest in two breathalyzer kits. If you get pulled over and have to use one you will be left without one, which is a violation of the law. French auto route tolls and petrol prices. The motorway can be an expensive way to travel even with French fuel prices lower than UK's. French motorways are split by tolling stations that charge a hefty fee for passage, 
The 295 km trip from Calais to Paris will cost €21.70 and €39.20 if towing a trailer or caravan. The fuel prices in France will help you claw back the motorway tolls with petrol and diesel priced on average at 1.444 euros and 1.187 euros per litre, respectively. These figures read 1.681 euros and 1.704 euros per litre in the UK. Just remember that gasol stands for diesel, something that could end up saving a lot of money and time. Driving in France, Insurance and Breakdown Cover most UK insurance companies allow for 90 days of cover in EU countries but the majority will only provide third-party cover. Confirm the type of insurance cover you will have in France before you leave. Unlike insurance, breakdown cover is not a mandatory requirement in France. It is nevertheless a welcome addition to any long journey. The bigger breakdown providers will offer Europe-wide coverage, but this is often an added policy. Check with your provider the type of cover you have, and if necessary you can purchase single trip covers online. Driving in France, top tips. France drives on the right side of the road, which may seem intimidating at first for many UK motorists. An easy way to remember the motorway, or auto route, etiquette is that overtaking happens closest to the side with oncoming traffic the left lane. On the French motorways the speed limit is 130 km per hour, 80 miles per hour, and 110 km per hour in the wet, 70 miles per hour, unless otherwise indicated. Like the motorways, dual carriageways and other roads will often have two speed limits, the lower of the two is to be obeyed in wet and poor driving conditions. Once you reach cities, the speed limit drops to 50 km per hour, 30 miles per hour, unless the signs say otherwise. Be careful with your speed, as any UK slash EU driver found driving 40 km per hour above the limit will have their license confiscated by the French authorities. Finding yourself driving in Paris or other large cities can be extra intimidating, with traffic levels similar to busy UK cities. The small streets packed with cars, one-way roads, and hordes of scooters can be tricky to negotiate but most drivers acclimatize fast. On unmarked intersections priority is given to those coming from the right, unless otherwise stated. This is why a second look to the right is always a good thing to remember. An alternative to the auto route motorways, A-signed roads, is the French equivalent to A and B roads route nationale, and signed roads or the route departmentals, designed roads. These roads will add a few hours to the journey but will swing you by the more scenic parts, small villages, and the vineyards. Better still, they're free from tolls. Driving in France Checklist Here's everything you need to carry with you when driving in France and a couple of things to leave at home. Full and valid driver's license. V5C Proof of insurance. Passport slash national ID. Two NF certified breathalyzers. Reflective jackets for all passengers. Warning triangles. Headlamp beam deflectors. GB sticker, non-GB Euro symbol plates only. No speed camera detectors or sat-navs with camera locations.